What's up, YouTube? This is your Alpha Trey coming to you guys tonight. I hope you guys have a nice weekend. We are ready to start on Monday tomorrow. I hope you guys use your time wisely. You know, you put some time to work. You know, you study those charts. You know, learn those patterns because, again, that is what is going to help you guys to be better trader and, again, you know, to start building as well. Right? Again, knowledge is power, but don't forget that. Right? I mean, we have, we have, we definitely have a lot to talk about. So we're going to go in deep on that. But we have, you know, big tech earnings reporting this week. You know, I believe you have Amazon, Google, Meta, uh, Microsoft, you know, some uh, transportation stocks, UPS. We have a lot of things going on. So the, it's definitely going to be like a roller coaster, in my opinion. You know, we're going to have a big pumps, probably big dumps, you know, depending on who's reporting and when it's reporting. I know that we also have, you know, some economical reports. During the week, so that might that might you know kind of play a role as well on direction on you know this week direction, right? So we definitely again we we are gonna we're gonna try to go over it and we try to cover everything in this video. But I mean as well you know post uh, putting to you guys my watch list when I'm watching for this week, all right? So first of all, what we have for economical data Monday again, most of the time we do not have anything important. You know we have few things really. You guys know that you know you guys know the drill. It's Monday, you know, save your money. Uh, have you know if you can try to be cash. You know, we a lot of big money, smart money is gonna be holding it up, right? Um, you know, just let it market play out. Let let it show your pattern, and they make a decision. But again, don't try to don't get red on Monday when we have, you know, four more days like last week. You know, a big probably big day is coming. And that's when you guys want to be, you know, be full in your position, you know, have enough cash to play out and, you know, bang with it, right? Tuesday, we have a couple of reports. We do have uh, customer confidence and new home sales on Saturday in the morning. Something that we might keep an eye on it. I don't believe it's going to be, you know, something that will move the market, but again, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. Wednesday, we do have better gas orders at 8.30 in the morning. Same thing with international trading goods. And we do have AI Petroleum Self Report on Wednesday. So, you know, that might be something you guys might want to check it out with all stuff. You know, I believe we do have some oil stocks reporting this week, like Exxon, I think Exxon, and another one. So, I'm going to check that out. But again, you know, something that you guys want to keep an eye on. It. And what it is very important this week, something that definitely you guys want to keep an eye on it, it's going to be Thursday. We do have GDP on Thursday. We also have jobless claims report on thursday so thursday is going to be a very volatile week and i'm sorry a very volatile day and that's when you guys want to be ready to make some moves because that's when we might you know have the opportunities present you know aggressive moves that we can take you know a uh, chance to jump in get out and again make some money uh friday you know we have personal income at least something that again you might want to keep an eye not very important but again <clears throat> I think Thursday is what really what's gonna be matter for us as far as earnings. Something that I've been watching this week, we definitely you know we have Microsoft on Tuesday, uh, we, uh UPS as well on Tuesday, Brazil on Tuesday, Meta it reports on Wednesday after hours, Amazon Thursday after hours. Uh, what else we have? We have on Friday. That's when we talk. We have Chevron. You know we have uh that Exxon as well. So we have all you know a few things going on. Tomorrow, I mean, I don't believe probably Coke, you know, Coca Cola that reported before open. But other than that, nothing really that, you know, gets my attention. But, anyways, getting back to the charts, uh, Spy, what I've been telling you guys, man, Spy has been just saying it up. It's been, we've been rallying a lot this couple of weeks, but you guys have to zoom out and really understand what's happening. In my opinion, what I mean wasn't happening. We're pretty much just rallying towards. Huge resistance. What you guys are seeing right now on my screen, it's a weekly chart of SPY. And notice how every single time that we get into this area, which is where currently right now, which is this 412, 413 area, we tend to get a rejection, right? And that tends to be a huge rejection. You know, that's not something that if it's about, you know, from the 412s, you know, goes back again to the 480s. So that's almost a $30, $35 drop in SPY. Only once in this period of time, you know, Spy was able to pierce, you know, this this uh, this resistance. It went as high as, you know, 427, 430, right? Uh, but other than that, every single time that we get this, you know, this air resistance, we get rejected, right? So in my opinion, I don't see the market really uh, 
strong enough to, you know, make huge moves to the upside. That's just my opinion. You know, we do not know. This market is very unpredictable. But something to keep an eye on again is always these technicals. Because again, it, based on what we have coming, you know, we have big, you know, we have bigger earnings coming, uh, you know, some important reports. This might very well be the, you know, be the start for the new downtrend on the market. Again, I still believe that we have another leg down in the market overall. Uh, a lot of stocks that I've been watching, I've been, you know, observing, most of them are setting up, you know, they are setting it up uh, to make a leg down. So this might be the time. So we, again, we know, you know, we make the money going up, we make the money going down, you know, we catch penny stocks, we do a lot over here. So, you know, stay tuned with me. But again, this is my opinion on SPY, and it seems that we're forming a triple top on the weekly chart. So keep an eye, because again, I believe that we might have some, you know, downtrend this week. Again, just checking out the daily chart and the weekly chart. Well, at least in the daily chart, you see the magnet is already curling down. You know, we have the bottom bars already, you know, it seems that the buyers are getting extremely exhausted, you know, it's about to turn a red, so which it will indicate that we have sellers taking over from SPY. All right, so again, that's just my opinion. I do believe that we might have, uh, you know, moved down overall. What you guys should be looking at, because like I said, on Friday, we were just ranging between this 410 and 412 area. It's going to be tomorrow. Let's, you know, see. I think that we still will continue on this, you know, on this range, right? That's just my opinion. I, mean, I can tell you guys that that's what's going to happen tomorrow. That's just got my opinion. But even if we do, we actually do the same thing that we did on Friday, then you already know, you know, buy that for 10, sell for 12, buy for 12, sell for 10, do the same thing, you know, rinse and repeat, right? Other than that, something that the, what the levels that you really want to keep an eye on it, it's going to be our resistance, this 413, 419 resistance, and our support, this 409.56. Because again, those are going to be the levels, critical levels that actually will actually make a spy to make, you know, a bigger move, right? So, Ready for that, and again, just mark those lows. As far as another stock that I've been watching for this week, we do have UPS again. This is a transportation stock. I've been watching it because they they do report earnings on Tuesday morning, right? Why do I like this? Because again, this UPS is being uptrending amazing this couple of weeks. If you go look at the chart, it's been on a steady uptrend since almost what since january right little dips but it's been right in the tournament but but it's important what i like about this is that it's in the, it's right it's literally touching uh resistance that if if it get breaks it's gonna have a pretty enough a pretty good room to go you know this and that's gonna be that's gonna be opportunities for us right so well definitely what i'm watching on, on ups again it's gonna be if they break this 197.67 resistance if they do, they break this resistance, then set it, you know, check it out because we might have that room to that 205 to 10 level, right? Again, we do not play earnings overall, but we play the pre move and the post moves. So that's what you guys have to keep an eye on it. And never, in my opinion, should be, none of you guys should be, you know, gambling, uh, you know, the actual report because, like I said, most of the time you guys won't get it right and you guys will lose your money. But it's just my opinion, right? Uh, if again, if it, UPS, if the if the report doesn't come as you know, as it was expected, the UPS you know take a dip, I believe that they might be touching that one eighty five point sixteen support. So that will be something that you want to know. And if you know if it goes red, then you guys can play the puts towards that support, right? Now what I'm looking is Microsoft. Microsoft reports earnings on Tuesday after hour. Looking at the daily, it seems that we're forming a double top. And we are already showing signs of weakness. Looking at the daily chart, we can see that already Magni is flip, all flipping down. RSI seems to be cooling down. The sellers are very strong right now in this downtrend. So that's something, again, keep an eye on it. Uh, if, if, you know, say Microsoft respect the pattern that we're watching right now, then it will eventually tap the support. Right now, it's currently, it's at 285.34. Uh, the next support is at 281.97. Well, a, a very strong support. If we break that, I mean, this can easily go to 279, you know, 275, 270. I believe if he actually breaks this level, it will make his way slowly and surely, but towards the 60 minute, right? Also, do not forget that there is a gap. You see, there is a small gap right there, which is from 276.24 to 278.34. So again, remember, gaps are to be filled at some point in time. We do not know when, 
But again, like I said, I've seen many stocks are setting up on a you know on the downtrend, and most of them, a lot of them, actually have gaps. So this might might be a time to you know the market and the stocks might be turning now, and fill those gaps for the probably next bull market. We don't know, but let's hope that that might be the case. But again, you know, just that those gonna be the opportunities that we have. You know, we gotta keep an eye on it. All right, another one that I'm actually looking as well is gonna be Meta. Meta, I believe they do report earnings on when on shop. I believe it's on Wednesday. I do forget that one. Yeah, actually, yes, this is Wednesday after close, which is gonna be made. It's after hours. But what I've been watching on Meta, it's actually that it's being a steady as it's actually being pretty strong. You know, I'm pretty surprised, you know, as far as how you know the company itself has been developing. Uh, you know, with this little check marks and all that. But, you know, it's been, it's been you know, often to pay decently, you know, since last time that we was around, it was around $100. You know, it was, it went over, you know, like over 100% because it's already it touched 222, which is more than the double. Uh, but again, nothing else, nothing's going to go on a strap, whatever. And I believe that this might be the time the meta is going to start turning down, right? It seems that, again, if you look at the weekly chart, uh, we are already kind of close in about the 200 main, but it seems already market wants to cool down, right? Uh, again, saying it's same thing. I don't believe the market is ready to make a move on. I don't believe Meta is ready to make a higher move. It's very unpredictable. It's a bit unlikely, in my opinion, but it can happen. But if we do lean to what we are looking at right now, uh, I believe that Meta should make his way down, right? The next support that we have in Meta currently. Uh, it's gonna move. You you have to watch because you know that two hundred twenty may that two eleven point twelve is acting as a support, right? If actually breaks that twenty may, then we will retest this support one ninety five point eighty four, eighty five. I'm sorry, right? And again, slowly and surely because again it's gonna go down little by little, but again remember that there are gaps. You know, uh, Meta has a gap down there that it hasn't fill it hasn't fill it out fully. Like cause last time it gapped out. You know, it filled out with half of the gap and then it started going up because he bounced from the 20 meter. So that gap, again, is still there. You know, the half of this is still there, right? So that's something that, again, you want to watch it. You know, that gap is from 168.86 to 153.90. And again, if the market is going to start turning now, you have to watch that because those gaps are, you know, very good opportunities to, you know, uh, increase your liquidity in your accounts and, you know, just catch pretty decent moves overall. All right, another one. Let's go back to the swings. Uh, just a quick update on OCI. OCI again, you know, I'm still currently holding that. I believe that OCI is still a good hold. Looking at the charge overall, daily looks healthy. You know, we're still on an uptrend. We're expecting a 20 May. The deals are there. You know, we're still waiting on the up, the pattern, the pattern that they're supposed to, you know, receive. Uh, so I believe once we get that news, they should make a decent move. Probably, you know, nine, nine, ten. Let's see how it goes. Because last time we went to season two, I believe that next time might go higher. But we will catch it up, right? A couple of ones that I'm actually watching. You know, I'm gonna I'm watching a holo. Holo is an funny stock that he's been getting a lot of you know of attention on different you know different discourses, just talk tweets, you know, uh, Wall Street bets. So again, I just just like to watch it, you know, just keep it on watch because it seems that uh you know might be getting some more, you know, it has pretty good room. It's getting some volume, you know, charge looks a little explosive. He actually gets to be about at three dollars, because you can see that 60 May, it's a 294. And <clears throat> if he is to break that, then we have a pretty decent room towards you know 200 May. So usually the 200 EMA acts as a big magnet. And I believe if the whole goes about $3, this is going to squeeze a little bit towards those $4. Again, just keep it on watch. You know, I'll be watching this one in, in, on the week. Another one that I'm actually watching as well is that curl, I gave you guys this, you know, for a bit a while ago. It's GETR. Still, it closed a little strong on Friday. You know, it closed above that 50 cents. Uh, don't forget that. He does have a gap to the upside, but now he has a gap to the downside as well. So as long as 
uh, GETR stays above that gap, I can consider that it still might be, you know, strong enough to keep going up. But if he actually gives up, you know, this, this buyer sell, you know, start, you know, getting weaker and weaker, then you have to watch it out because, again, that small gap will be filled. And you don't want to, I mean, like, you don't want to put yourself in that situation that, you know, you want to be red when you can avoid it, right? So currently that support is a 0 0.44. So that support should be the, your stop loss because below 0 0.44, you better get out because it will fill the gap down. So you don't want to, you know, get stuck in there and, you know, just be like, oh man, why didn't get out, right? But if actually, you know, GTA gets in volume, some momentum, if you break 0 0.60, then we can open up towards, you know, 80 cents, 90 cents, even a dollar with enough momentum, all right? There is a small gap towards, you know, 145. So that might be something to watch if we actually, you know, start going more up, all right? And lastly, <clears throat> I one that I've been watching, and I'm going to be watching this week as well. It's going to be ASST. This IPO, a lot of these IPOs, and I know this is just a small uh, trend that I noticed last week. A lot of IPOs that have been exploding, you know, like 100% to 100%, right? Again, remember, sometimes the markets tend to have some sectors, some themes, you know, last few couple of weeks ago. AI team was it was it was a hot topic, you know. AI, AI stocks there were going like 200%, 300%, right? Last week I noticed a lot of small float stocks and IPOs start exploding. Just some of them, not all of them, but I do believe that might be a theme still this week. So I'm gonna keep watching this one because I believe they might have some potential. And you know, currently, you know, your IPO is 6.98, almost seven dollars, like currently a dollar. So I believe the risk reward is there, just about you know. Swing it and you know add the dips, hold you know hold it up as long enough, and you know just see where it goes. All right, guys. Yeah, again, I'm not telling you to buy. Remember, nothing of this is financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy yourself. Nothing of this is just my thoughts, my ideas. Please go make your own DD. Please go make your own charts, and be ready for tomorrow. All right, guys. So if you have any questions, don't forget. You know, you guys can DM me. Send me text, talk me in the chats as well in the communities. I'll do my best to get back to you guys. And again, if you guys like these videos, the recaps, these ideas, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. You know, we have more to come. And again, more bangers, more ideas, more improvements uh, to the channel through, throughout the year. All right, guys. And don't forget to check the link in the description as well. That's where I have the link for the Africa community. If you guys want to join and check my trades 24 7 and my guidance as well. But other than that, again, I hope you guys have a nice night. You know, take a rest and be ready for tomorrow morning because we have a long and very important week ahead. All right, guys? All right, take care, guys. Bye. What's up, guys? This is Juan Pacheco. Come on, you guys today. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals and financial freedom you guys are looking for, you need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the African community. I'll be there with you guys, guiding yourself to the market. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because I'm going to get you guys get some money. All right, so see you guys.